I love the ocean and the only way I know how to share that is to recreate the ocean for everyone to see. Hey everybody, my name is Mackenzie and I'm part of a team that grows jellies for the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We have a whole laboratory where we grow all the food that the jellies eat and they graduate to bigger and bigger exhibits. And it's a full-time job here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Tonight, we're heading far offshore to go scuba diving to look for deep sea jellies. We are diving during the night instead of the day to be part of something very special. The largest migration of animals on planet Earth. We have jellies at the Monterey Bay Aquarium that you cannot see anywhere else in the world. And it's all due to these massive efforts to witness jellies in their natural habitat. Okay, we made it to the dive site. I'm super excited to jump in. We're floating above 5,000 feet of water, but it's not just me out here. There's a whole team, so let's go meet them. Hey, Mac. This is Tommy. Hey. And this is Ellen. And we're going to focus on the three species this evening. We're going to look for the mob stinger, crown jellies, and red spotted comb jellies. The crown jelly as well as the red spot jelly sometimes are a little deeper, so perhaps we focus on those in the beginning of our dive, and then as we're ascending the line, look for the mob stinger. All right, sounds great, man. Cool. Blackwater diving is when we scuba dive to normal scuba diving depths, but the bottom is way deeper. So deep sea animals live down there, and at sunset they migrate up to where we're scuba diving, and that's a way we can encounter deep sea animals without ourselves having to go into the deep sea. Animals that live in the deep sea come up to the surface to feed every night, and that's why we're out here, to join the party, basically. We scuba dive in the dark, and sometimes you can only see where your flashlight's pointing. So you might see nothing for a little while and then come across a beautiful stunning animal that might have been right there, but you had no idea until you lit it up with your flashlight. We have a great team of dive safety officers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium who are an integral part of this whole operation. We have this main line that hangs from the boat so that we make sure we're always with the boat. We do have a dive safety officer who is managing that line and keeping an eye on all of us. It's really, really informative and helpful for us to see these animals living their lives as they naturally would in the ocean. And we take that knowledge and try to put it into the aquariums that we build. A lot of these jellies out in the wild are just sort of drifting with the currents. They don't encounter any surfaces ever. So when we bring them back to the aquarium, it is a bit challenging to simulate this environment. The diffusion tube is a really cool exhibit we invented at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's basically a tube within a tube. And it's very special because it provides this gentle environment for the delicate animals that are growing up to become an adult jelly. We grow jellies in the lab by bringing the parents back from the ocean and getting them to have babies in the lab. So that group of babies that they have is the first generation born in the lab. And then those can grow up and have babies. And that's the second generation born in the lab. And we can do that over and over and over again if things go well. I feel fortunate at the Monterey Bay Aquarium that we do have the opportunity to try to culture and or breed these animals. We can bring animals to the aquarium that have never been seen before and help people understand the vast diversity of all the animals that are out here and help inspire them to love the oceans and understand how amazing the life is that's in there.